Hey everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmadov, and recently GitHub Copilot has introduced an experimental agent mode. And I want to show how to use that to actually do meaningful refactorings in your apps and in your tests. So I have this app and it's just to do MVC. I have a couple of spec files. They're all are green. Uh, for example, this add to do adds a couple of to do's and verifies that they appear. And if we look at the source code, uh, notice I'm using selectors that are class name, element um, names. And what I want to do, I want to add data sci and kind of standardize and use data sci attributes for all my sci get, sci find, sci contains selectors. And usually I would kind of avoid this work because it's a refactoring and the agent mode will make it much, much simpler. So the way I'm going to do this is by first going to the VS Code settings. Under settings, I'll search for agent and uh, chat agent enable, enable the agent mode for Copilot chat. Perfect. Then I'm going to open the chat, clip my previous session. And right here, notice uh, Ask was there for a long time, then we added edit mode, good for a single file, I want to say, and agent is good for working with whole code base. And the first thing I want to do is to look at all the input elements in this index.html and add data side attribute where it's missing. So I'll say analyze elements in HTML and add data side attributes to every front button anchor input to be used for testing okay let's see what the agent does i'm using gpt 4.0 model it doesn't really matter which model you use i feel if you give pretty specific instructions and all the context that the tool needs so in this case it added data sign you to the input to the input element added, uh, removed to the button, to the button, and added um, another data size. And the other elements already have data size, so I'm going to keep this. Now that we have those data size elements, we need to go back to our test. And instead of using these selectors, maybe use a single constant. But we want to keep all the constants in, you know, a single file. So I'll say create single file to use in Cypress specs with a single constant object with all element data sci attributes selectors. If you use voice chat, it's a little bit faster to enter those prompts, but for a video, I think tapping it in is okay. Okay, so it created a single selectors in Cypress folder and created an export selectors. Uh, this is exactly what I needed. Uses all data sci attributes. Excellent. Uh, I don't like this file because it's flat object and I want to group those selectors by type, right? Like all the filters should be together, for example. So I'll say group these selectors by the logical front and component and again because the whole chat is in a context it understands when i say I group these selectors and refactors with a single object into logical subgroups header footer to do item and now the last thing that i need to do is to actually use these selectors in all my specs use the new test selectors to query elements in Cypress specs in, let's say, Cypress E2E folder. Let's see if it can find all size specs and refactor them correctly. Okay, so this is the spec, it makes perfect sense. And notice how it says, I updated the spec, let me know if you want me to update other spec files in the E2E folder similarly. Okay, and I'll just say yes. Update the other Cypress specs to use the selectors object. 
Every time I run the same query, the results might be slightly different, but let's see if it refactors. Okay, so it's refactoring adding to dos, replaced all the hard coded class names with data size selectors. I'll say keep, network calls keep. Yeah, makes sense. And I think this is the end. And of course, every time we refactor something, we need to make sure that it passes the tests. Okay, so this is a problem. Expected to find element, but never found it. Okay, so this was adding to do's. I'm gonna select copilot fix and I'm gonna add my own selector. Okay, so now everything is passing. Let's see network calls. Yes, perfect. So this was the agent mode in GitHub Copilot. It can modify multiple files in my code base and intelligently perform all the tasks that, you know, maybe a junior developer can do following my instructions.